Hi, welcome to College Park Arts Exchange. Today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional German St. Martin's Day lantern out of poster board. So step one, you get your full size piece of poster board. This piece that I have here was dark blue on the outside and light blue on the inside, which is kind of nice. Um, the kind that we had available is white. With one piece of poster board, you have enough surface to make three lanterns. So you're going to divide your poster board. You can see here I've got two thirds of it left and the piece is 28 inches long. This measures five inches on a side. So, and it's this high, seven and a half inches, almost eight inches. So if you measure it this way on your poster board, you're just going to measure over about seven inches and cut a long strip. Okay, and that'll give you three strips of poster board like this for three lanterns. So then you're going to take this strip and you're going to measure, like it says here, 21 inches. And then you're going to cut this piece off. So this is going to be your bottom. And 21 inches gives you 5 inches on each side, 5, 10, 15, 20, and a 1 inch overlap. So inside the lantern is where you put the overlap so that you can staple it together. So the first thing you do once you've got it cut is you fold it in half like this and then you fold the sides in half so that you get four sides plus your overlap. Then you can take a pencil or something and draw. Like I'd like to make very simple shapes like a heart or a star. So I drew my heart inside on the inside of the lantern when no one will see. And then I cut it out. You don't need that piece. And then I layered this. This is regular American tissue paper. And it looks like that. I used pink, red, purple, and orange. And I just kind of layered it in a loose stained glass look. Um, this one is made with real German transparency paper, um, which you have to order. You'll see that in the link that we'll provide. So once you've got four sides decorated, you're going to bring them together like this, put the flap on the inside. You just have to staple it better than any other method, really. The stapling is nice and secure. It holds your, your lantern together. So your bottom is going to have some leftover, but the point is you want the bottom inside to have a 5-inch box. And then you cut off these outside corners and fold in these little flaps. Okay, then you turn your lantern upside down. See, my heart is upside down now. And tuck this bottom inside the lantern. Like that. Then you take your stapler again. And staple four times. And that's your lantern, essentially. This one that was completed last year... You can see inside there is a candle. The candle has been hot glued in place. Um, I would recommend that if at all you have hot glue, do hot glue it in place. You don't want it sliding around in there. And then it's just a pipe cleaner with two little holes to make a handle. And then you have your beautiful lantern. That's it. It's so much fun. It takes about two hours to make one that's elaborate. And this one that's very simple took a lot less time. I hope that these measurements will help you and that you have a great time making a lantern. If you do make a lantern, St. Martin's Day is the 11th, which is Wednesday this year. But you can make it any time in November and feel like you're having a wonderful time making a traditional craft. Thanks, and let us know how it goes. Bye-bye.